1779 triple three bottle conditioned 500 milliliters 6.7 percent boom <laughs> so <laughs> okay john we've got uh, the brax beer beer crown brax yes. beer beer crown b I like there we go. <laughs> time, I really yeah, I love the bee. It is quite funky. Actually, I don't even know if it's a bee. It looks like a, a big chunky bee, doesn't it? Well, that's why I it say a be. bee. I mean, it's not going to be a wasp. Wasps are re no, really thin. No, but no, no, no. You're right. I'm not trying to contradict you. I, I was, I, I consider that to be a bee straight away. Now look at it. Look, look, look a bit chunky. Oh me. yeah. Like big fat bumblebee. Yeah, might be. I yeah. just love the detail of the wings and the legs and everything yeah. on it as well. I have yeah. to say they are very cool. And the same on the uh, collar. collar, which I have to notice. World Beer Awards, world's best dark strong. Woohoo! But you see, as soon as you see that, your expectation rise up to the oh, yes. man. If this Whereas is with be the, the other be beers, we've had not a lot of expectations. That Let's put it up here. So, so guys, you better do a good job with yeah. this here because uh, yeah. I'm expecting a lot from it. Oh yes, uh, I love the triple three as well. Yeah. Triple three, triple three, three triples, triple three. Thanks uh, to two fermentation in the Brax Pierce double drop system that we already, I think we, we came across. We tried double drop, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then another in bottle. This highly aromatic and satisfying strong beer delivers it rich flavor with subtly with subtly imbalance that oh. doesn't make sense with sub sub subletrine um head brewer with the signature uh, alcohol volume six seven <laughs> bottle Ouch. number four six one eight zero oh, zero I don't say the bottle number because they can see oh yeah I just I did it close mm, way. I got it wrong anyway so it don't really matter <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so front label is done. I, I have to admit, I like the border on the front and back label as well. The golden white yeah. sort of crest all the way around. Um, crystal, back, crystal black and pale malts provide the backbone of this outstandingly rich beer. Golding, Styrian, Styrian. And, Styrian and Cascade hops are added in both the copper and the whirlpool mm. with a further late addition of the whole cascade hops during fermentation to impart a dry hop character to this complex beer to determine when this bottle was filled you can look up the number at braxbeerbeers.co.uk the only thing that I'm really concerned about it is this. I mean, for someone that is not into beer, mm. for someone that doesn't know anything about malt or hop, how intimidating is that description? <laughs> yeah. I mean, see, they wanted to get people into beer. And I mean, crystal, black and pale malt, I mean, people start reading that and I don't know what they're gonna understand. But anyway, I'm really curious to see because well, now to be fair, we actually there. Man. We actually have the, the the scale on both sides. You know what that is. Well. And so you know what you're expecting. I won't lie. Well. I don't know what any of this means. So what, what, what's so the point in that? When when they say, right, I'm going to just, just, just tear this apart a little bit. So crystal black and pale malts. What are they? No one knows. Well, Provide the no, back. No, 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 sorry. Is only, that the... only experts know, oh, should I say. Okay. Outstanding rich beer. Okay, so I know that this is going to be a rich beer. Golding, Strian and Cascade hops. Don't know what that means. Are added both in copper and the whirlpool. Yeah, now you know everything about that beer, don't you? What's copper? <laughs> no, well, copper, you know what copper is, but I mean... Do I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, carry on. And the whirlpool, I mean, that, that the whirlpool, yeah, that's a washing machine, isn't it? 
Um, I didn't know beer got put in a washing machine. <laughs> and then, oh, obviously, I do know what fermentation is. And this actually is bottle conditioned, so it ferments in the bottle as well. I know that much at least. But you know my point now. I yeah, mean, for I can that understand. Beer, someone I that doesn't it. know about right. beer would read the back of that and think, what the fudge. So now, let's crack this bad boy open. <laughs> So, okay, so, appearance, Mr. John, what do you think? I have to admit, it is a lot lighter than I expected. As dark as that is, yeah. it looks quite nice. It's got a weird hue to it. It's, it's kind of it's murky. Not clear. No, that's it the thing. It's slightly cloudy. Yeah. And, uh, really it, coppery, amber sort of colour to it. Yeah, and uh, I have to say, as much as it looks okay, for me it's a disappointment, because considering the description, I was waiting for I know. a very, I was expecting a black evil, evil. Yeah. a really, really evil looking thing coming yeah. out. Yeah, and this is... I mean, this is okay. It's okay, but, but it wasn't wasn't what we were expecting by far, really. I, I tell you one thing, that if I have to think of any competition with a world's best looking, that dark strong, be, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't think this would win an award for a dark strong beer. Obviously, the strength is there, six point seven, but it just, in terms of look, it wouldn't yeah. scare me. Put it that no. way. And that's what actually, you want with an award winner, really, don't you? Actually, it would it would cool me to to drink it? I oh cannot yeah. Wait. No, My no. Heart is don't get us wrong. <clears throat> it's not as dark as we were expecting. Although it's not as dark as we expect, I have to admit it is. Nice looking. It is the sort of beer yeah. that we would drink on a regular basis. Mm. It's just when you win an award for being the strongest dark or strong dark beer, you don't expect to see this. You, you know what? And also, see a black beer. yeah, and also the description. I mean, from the description, I was really expecting yeah. a very, very mega full bodied and oh, yes. dark evil beer. Well, so let's get we... in there for a little yeah. whiff to see the body. Oh my god, that smells beautiful. Yeah, on the nose, this is pretty good. Pretty good, that smells beautiful. It's really, really sweet, almost pineapple y. Yeah, he's bordering, he's bordering on tropical. Yeah, but, but it's only the borderline, isn't it? It's I, trying to push through to get to the extreme tropical, but it's not quite there. I tell you what, it's like if you put a lot of fruit under. A, a, a lot of malt mm. and the smell of the fruit to try to come through as you yeah, said yeah. You try to so break you're getting through. the sweetness of the fruit oh, and the malt nice. as well and the, the sweetness of the malt is kind of overpowering the fruit a little bit I can get a bit of candy as well yeah I mean, yeah that's what I mean kind of... oh it smells beautiful you like that huh? banana <laughs> oh you bad <laughs> seriously <laughs> Again. You stopped doing it, and now, boom, back. It was there, I couldn't help it, yeah, it was yeah. on my lip. How man. was it? Was it nice? Okay, he's going to tell you what he thinks about it. Now. While I'm here with my mouth dribbling. I couldn't help it, it was so close. Well, shall we taste it then? Yeah, we got to delve in there, let's go. You know what, I'm not going to jump out of my skin because as much as I like very, well this is not very heavy, but heavy enough in alcohol beer, mm. uh, I have to say this is exactly, exactly what I was expecting from the description that for me was actually very good. Mm. <clears throat> Not, because you know what you're looking well, at. Well, not understandable mm. for many people. For mm. me, for me, it's a bit complicated. It's a mm. bit. Uh, okay, we're gonna raise our bar. Uh, we're gonna put our beer and the description into that category of people that already knows about beer, mm. that search for the beer of their life. To be honest with you, it's okay. It's drinkable. It's exactly what I was expecting. Mm. 
I have to admit the strength, although you can get the strength, is quite subtle still. Mm. You know what? Because I think that the triple three, mm. triple third, not triple three, and the description make your brain already automatically think of something that should have been tasting much stronger, yeah. much yeah. bigger. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. do, imagine, I imagine expected to this have to a, blow my head off. I mean, this, mm. for me, in real life, should be compared to the world champion of heavyweight in boxer. Mm. In yeah. boxer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's a, a strong, triple. dark beer. Well, it so. should be a humongous. Mm. And plus the description word with the word winning of uh, <coughs> I'm sorry because it's nice, but no, it is nice. I have to admit that the more you drink it, the more you get the strength. You can tell it's a, a, a stronger beer, but it's still quite smooth. It's still got the sweetness to it, a subtle tone of the the tropical fruit still as well. Do you get that? Mm. <laughs> No, you're right. Is it only really subtly for me? Is this and the caramel sits there a lot more as well, though. Well, that is the thing for yeah. me. It's mostly malty with a hint yeah. of uh, orange peel. Mm. That is what I would say on this beer. Uh, it's nice though. Uh, yeah, I have to admit, I mean, really nice still. It's it's okay, mm. but. I'm sorry for some people that would find this amazing. I think that we are so used to this kind of beer in England that for us it's just like it's the okay. Yeah, yeah, this it's is okay. this is your bog standard. This isn't the that exceptional. Is, yeah. That's the thing. It isn't the ones that sit up here. Unfortunately, it's it's not the ones that sit down here. The ones that you think, oh no, I wouldn't get that again. Oh, that wasn't very. No, nice. I would get for this. Again. Yeah, I would. That's the thing. I would actually buy this again. I would try. I would drink it a few times. It isn't a bad beer. And I'm, I'm the same as you. I, I have to admit, when I walk into a shop and buy a beer, I don't sit there. I, I, I have different tendencies. Sometimes I'll go for the look straight away. I'll pick it up. If it's under 4 or 5%, I'll put it back. I, I can't be bothered with it. Because you are an alky. No, no. But I can't be bothered with having... I like to have just one beer, all right? If I want to have one beer of an evening, then I want to have a 6 or a 7% beer. I don't want to have a 3, because then when you finish that 3, you're going to drink another one. Let's, let's face it, people. You're going to want another one afterwards. Right, yeah, I'm making myself sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna edit to this, so that in 10 years' time, you're going to watch back and say, oh, man, I, I really sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> Well, I think that's us done for the day, though. I don't know. I'm thank you for watching. Squeeze another one in. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's it. It yeah. was good. Yeah, We're both a little bit drunk now, unfortunately. Good. Good. Yeah. Take care, guys. Ciao for now.